My friends, I, I want to ask you to consider uh, the future of this nation in light of the truth rather than in light of political strengths, the power to vote, the power to, to buy votes. I want you to understand something that either there be a revolution in this nation to save America from the tyranny that is now ruling it, or there be martial law and we lose even the option of a revolution. Martial law, as we understand, can be precipitated by any little thing, a drop in the stock market, a, if you will, terrorist activity, a bombing, a false flag such as the Boston bombing, threatening the well-being, poisoning of the water beyond the usual amount of fluoride that's being dispensed to all American homes at present. And martial law will then happen as a result of that. But martial law will not be to take this nation, the tyrannical, the tyrants, the dictators, the communists, if you will, the Obama, the New World Order types have already taken this nation. As, as Alex Jones says, we're already on a prison planet and a prison nation. The nation has already been taken over. That's the first thing we must come to terms with. The revolution or the martial law for my, will be simply uh, to prevent a revolution. The martial law will not be to take the nation. Let's be clear about that. The martial law will come only when the uh, powers that be, the tyrants, the new world order, those dictators will realize that the people are ready for a revolt, such as what happened in the Ukraine or what happened in Egypt. And I wouldn't call the Ukraine or Egypt a revolt in a traditional sense because I don't support the revolt in Ukraine. I don't support the one in Egypt. But with that kind of an understanding, uh, a revolution is the only way this nation and your future can be saved. And the other thing I want to point out to you, I know that you have put your hope in politicians. You look at the headliners today, the Chris Christie's, the Ted Cruz's, and the Democrats and others look at Hillary Clinton and one thing after the other. But understand this, and I know you know better that you cannot put your future in the hands of any of these politicians. They are politicians and they become puppets. They should not be called politicians. They should be called puppets of the new world order or the power brokers that be. I don't care whether they're espousing conservative or liberal ideas. We all know they are puppets. They're not politicians. They are puppets. And the thing I want to help you to get uh, excised from is somehow or another having faith that this politician or that politician, this Republican politician or this Democrat politician or this liberal media or this conservative media is somehow or another going to save the day and return America back to the good old days. It ain't going to happen. It just isn't going to happen. The powers that be have already co-opted everything. Both medias are co-opted, liberal and conservative. Both politicians are co-opted, liberal and conservative. And they're just dogfighting for the purpose of demonstrating and keeping you dumbfounded so that you don't wake up. Here is my proposal to you. Either there be a revolution in America to... Take America back. It will not, America cannot be taken back, nor can the future and of this nation be saved through the political ballot. It cannot be done. Some years ago, black people realized that, and I think it was Malcolm X that said either the ballot or the bullet. My friends, you need to wake up out there if you're thinking that somehow or another the next election is going to settle anything, then there's very little point in trying to talk to you any further. Either this nation has a revolution. And by the way, revolution is only a dirty word until we're able to defeat King George at Yorktown. Revolution is only a dirty word when we defeat 
the nation, the world's largest army at Concord, at Yorktown. Then revolution becomes a word of patriotism. We have to get started with a revolution and allow the power brokers that be call us a dirty word and a dirty name. But that's all right. Just keep on fighting. Even Thomas Jefferson himself said that the tree of liberty must be watered from time to time with the blood of patriots as well as tyrants. Either we're going to have in America in the next three years a revolution to take this nation back, or we're gonna have a martial law to keep any revolution from ever raising its head. And that's where we are. We're not at the next 2014 election, who's gonna take the House and who's gonna take the Senate. If you're thinking along that, then I just don't wanna to talk to you anymore. If you think that somehow or another, that's gonna solve anything. And then the 2016 election, we'll win back the White House and we'll have the Senate and the House and then we can go on and do things. Listen, the power brokers that puppet the ones in the White House and the Senate, the power brokers that puppet Mitch McConnell and John Boehner and Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi are with the same power brokers when whoever gets in there. And you need to come to terms with that. The moment you wake up to that, now we're ready for a revolution. Now we're ready to take America back. Now we're ready to stop believing that somehow or another these sellout puppet politicians are going to help save our nation, save the family farm, our children and our grandchildren, and return America back to its day of greatness again. If you think that somehow or another, then what is wrong with you? Can't you see the handwriting is on the wall? Revolution is going to be the only thing that will stop martial law. And martial law is the only thing that will stop the revolution. This is where we are in this nation. There is no ballot. There is no vote. There is no 2016 election. There is no, no election is going to save this nation. No one politician is going to save this nation. No political party is going to save this nation. No conservative or liberal, me, liberal media is going to save this nation. The only thing that's going to save this nation, it has never saved the nation. If you see what's going on in the Ukraine and see what's going on around the world, and if you read the words of the prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ, there shall be wars and rumors of war. Jesus was talking about a revolution. Jesus promotes revolution. He told the apostles, get your sword, brother. Sell your coat and get a sword. It's battle time. It's revolution time. Jesus was a revolution. He said there shall be wars and rumors of wars. And anybody thinking that somehow or another that these political action committees or somehow or another the liberal media, these liars, these frauds, these whores and pimps sitting on television or on radio, conservative radio, is going to save this nation. You done lost your Reddit, you know what? Mine. Either there's a revolution or martial law. The revolution will stop, will take the nation back, and martial law is set for the purpose of stopping the revolution. We need a revolution in this nation and not just a revolution of arms. We need a revolution of the mind. We need a revolution of people beginning to understand what the hell am I doing voting for this person and listen to this news commentator and praying that this legislation will get passed or somehow or another thinking that the Republicans are better than the Democrats. You need a revolution of the mind if you think that one is better than the other. They're all sellouts. They're all making millions of dollars. They're all the White House niggas. That's all they are. All these politicians, whether it be Ted Cruz or whether it be Barack Obama, they're all White House niggas. That's all they are. They're all puppets of the same new world order. We need a revolution in this nation, and we need it now before martial law clamps it down once and for all. At least the people in the Ukraine got enough sense to see that we're going to stand up and yes, some lives will be lost. The people in Syria have enough God in them to stand up and say, yeah, lives will be lost, but freedom is worth it. Freedom ain't free. And yeah, here we are sitting before our flat screen television, driving around in our F-150s, thinking that somehow or another Bill O'Reilly and Ted Cruz is going to save the day. You don't lost your damn mind. We need a revolution. And if we don't get one, by the way, 
The government's revolution is martial law. The people's revolution is a revolution of the law. But you need a revolution of the mind. You're sitting there every day getting worse and watching conditions get worse all around the world. People who don't have the opportunity that you have have more understanding about their own destiny and creating their own future. We need a revolution. Now, are you ready to join? We need to stop playing games and thinking that somehow or another the answer is in the politics, the answer is in the vote, the answer is in the political party. We all know of the Hegelian dialectic. We all understand what the New World Order is doing, or at least you should understand it. And if you understand it, and yet you're sitting there thinking that somehow or another the next election is somehow or another going to set America free, there ain't no way you can wash all the sewage that's on America now, all the sewage that runs through Capitol Hill, all the sewage that runs through the Supreme Court, all the sewage that runs through the Congress and the Senate. There ain't no way. An election is going to clean that up. We need to sanitize. We need to, only the fire, fire, fire will clean this nation up again. Only fire of the revolution will clean this nation that it might be returned to its rightful owners once again and we can start all over again. Thank God that the revolution took place. Thank God for Concord. Thank God for Yorktown. Thank God for George Washington. Thank God for Patriots. Thank God for Thomas Jefferson. Thank God that they weren't cows. Thank God for Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Don't give me this hogwash of the conservative Bill O'Reilly's, the Rush Limbaugh's, or the Glimbig. Don't give me that hogwash. Give me a rifle. And give me a position, and I shall march. I shall march until my feet are too tired and weary. I shall march until this nation is returned. I shall march. I will not be a victim of martial law. I will not be in a FEMA camp. Before you put me in, my, in a FEMA camp, I'd rather be dead and in my grave. I will not go to a FEMA camp. I will not have my constitutional rights circumventing and cut off by these faggots in the white of these White House niggas is all they are. I will not have that happen. I'm the Lord's servant. And God is calling for a revolution in America. The devil is calling for martial law.